just because I did lose last time. Um, I'm probably going to stick with the same strategy I had the time before last, which was using um, uh, Lumiere as the starter here. Lumiere has the cho Lumiere's Choice Scarf. So kicking up that Moonblast, I do have something to handle that um, very annoying uh, Volcarona as well. Moonblast. Stone Edge Miss. That is big for us right there. I figured I would have lucked out. Honestly, I've missed twice in a row, but, you know, odds are I wasn't going to. We're going to bring out the Venusaur here, Mega Evolve U, and Leech Seed. Yep. Mega Evolving first. Setting up the Leech Seed here. That's going to be big for us because that means now we're going to start getting some health back as well. And let's go for Moon Blasts. That's fine. I just got it just got seated again. It's totally fine with me. And we keep getting seated. Okay, so this is where I move over to Baby Shark here. It misses it. We're gonna set up a sword dance on this thing right now. Um okay, should I have done a sword dance? I thought that's what I did last time. I thought that one time I did a sword dance on it first, and then I was able to survive it somehow. Maybe because I don't really know. We could honestly just like outweigh its uh, yeah. We could seriously just outweigh its uh earthquake at this point. Then you know, what? honestly, I am thinking of probably just um. I don't really want to redo these battles again though, because this was just way too hard for me. <laughs> Honestly, and like, doesn't matter how many more levels I do gain, we're not gonna be able to survive this. No matter what. Um, so this is my strategy right now, though. I feel like is just kind of keep Baby Shark alive here, constantly go for these guys, and realistically, because once as long if it's gonna keep using this right now. Eventually, it's going to run out of PP. And once it does, that's when we're going to go for... Because I don't know whether... Okay, so use Autonomize, which is fine. My Earthquake's in it. Oh, are you serious? Okay, it just increased its speed. That's, that's fine with me. So I'm going to just set up Sword Dances on this thing. We're going to go for a Crunch here. That's going to easily take you out one hit. No problem at all. Bell Bell Restoration, they're right there, let's go. Okay, right now, car gonna come out, that's fine. Aqua Tail, one hit, you're done. Um, Flygon is next. My big question is, what's Mega Flygon stats? It's Bug Dragon type. So Crunch is going to be the move I want to use. Provide we do survive anything that this thing hits us with. With we do, we... Oh my god. That Sandstorm just took it out. Yes. Kyurem. I feel convinced I'll be fine against Kyurem, honestly, if I just restore right now. Yeah. That was a lucky critical. Okay, can we just say right now, that was a lucky critical right there. That was luck. Um, okay. Buffy, I'm like, honestly, to God right now, I'm so sorry, Buffy, but I'm going to have to sacrifice you. We're doing a sacrificial lamb move right now for, for Baby Shark. Baby Shark's just, but Baby Shark's going to be the MVP in this fight. Seriously. Um, all right, full restore here. Because that, it's that Volcarona that scares me. That Volcarona is very scary to me. We're gonna be able to survive that for sure, which is fine. Boom burst here, which deals that much damage. Okay. Kill your PP. I, it might be choice. Yep, it's choice. It's choice. Do I want? Okay. No, I actually, we're gonna like heal up here. What is this thing?
Oh, mommy. I need my mommy. This is like an armored Mewtwo thing. Like Shadow Mewtwo. I do like how that kind of like became a thing of its own, honestly. I think that's really cool. Okay, since it's choice though, it's gonna outspeed no matter what we use here. But it's, it's gonna it's locked into Ice Beam though, which is fine with me. We could set up sword dances on this thing. I say we could set up sword dances on this thing. Okay, we could survive one more ice beam. We defrosted. We're healing up right now. Let's go. That's all we need here. This is honestly our last shot right now. And that critical really just put us into a very difficult situation. I, I got ice here right now. That's the first big thing. Okay, we're gonna go for a crunch here. I have no more for I have no more ways of healing right now. So unless we're able to take this book, unless we outspeed Volcarona, which I don't think we do. We don't. Okay. Docker. We're gonna go over here now with a nuzzle. We're gonna nuzzle you here. And we're just gonna start spamming Thunderbolts. I'm afraid you're gonna go for a full restore here. You're gonna go for a full restore. Thunderbolt. Yes! Yes! Uh, oh, for crying out loud. So that's it then. What a battle. Maybe. Maybe it seems like I have a little more to learn about all this. We'll meet again. Vermit. And my team will be better and stronger. Rukra. Sylvan. Congratulations, gamer. I can't believe it. Just recently, you were in my lab choosing your very first Pokemon, and now you're the champion of the Tauren League. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Come, let's get you registered in the Hall of Fame. Sylvan, thank you for keeping my for everything. Sure, Rukra. I, I'd do it for anyone. I just wish I could have helped you more. Come on, gamer. Let's go. Congratulations, gamer. This is where I record you and your team to be remembered as champions forever. Before I do, I have a message to pass on. I should pass on to you. A man who was partnered with Victini asked you to meet him where you met Mew. Victini, Victini, can you believe that? What a cool Pokemon. But yeah, he wanted to see you. He wouldn't say who he was, only that you know. And every time tried city he mentioned, you know, you know specifically where. So, uh, that's your next goal, I guess. I'm not really sure what's going on with all that. But anyways, I digress. Congratulations, gamer. You've done so much for this region, and now you've beaten its league. You deserve it. We have Lumiere. We got Shocker. We got Bloomer. We got Buffy. We got Meteorite. And we got Baby Shark. Oh my god. Thank you all so much. Just clap, 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 clap. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I guess now with the end credits and everything, of this first part anyways, first off, Fantastic, fantastic uh, fan game so far. I'm excited to see what's coming up in the future. Um, I thought that Elite Four was very challenging, but it was also, if you played it right, you were able to win for sure. That much is obvious. Um, we were able to handle all those uh, different things for the most part. The big thing, you know, the Trick Room, slower Pokemon. Um, the setup against the Baton Kayla and her Baton Pass team. Just need to knock out one of those Pokemon, and the entire content Baton Pass was just gone. Um, tell you what else. We also had the you know Zantum Rock team and whatever. Uh, that team was actually really fun as well. And then we finished things off with uh, what was the last team's gimmick? I feel it was like Hail Ice stuff like that. That was the easiest one, shockingly enough for us. And then finally Rukra, Rukra. That was a tough battle. Uh, yeah. Oh, I should have listened to you. Would you give me something, please? Okay, you're not going to give me anything either. That's fine. All right, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode.
when we go back to Amphitrite City and see what else is in store for us. I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Take care.